if you are in the mood to have these things light up, fully glowing, then all you gotta do is start screaming. Just start right now. Start screaming. Just keep screaming. Now, come on. Just keep going, man. Keep going. When they get enough, when they hear enough, they'll light those balloons up. Keep screaming. I don't hear you. Let's go. Come on, boys. All right, so we are getting checked into the Lake Havasu Balloon Fest, and today is check-in day. Tomorrow the festival actually begins. Um, first thing we did was, is we came through the state park station and paid to dump. Um, we've been by here a couple times, and this dump station is always packed. Today we are the only ones, so that is a $15 well spent. So here, while we're here, we are going to dump our tanks and fill our tank, dump and fill our tanks um, before we go park. Harmony is over there getting registered. Um, can't see it from here, but as soon as we're done taking care of the water, we'll go over and check it out. All right, so we're hitched up and ready to go. Time for another Road Ready Campground Review. Today we're coming from... Lake Havasu State Park. But we're not here to stay at the state park. We're actually here for the ninth annual balloon festival and fair and fair so we, we the parking is actually in a parking lot um i want to say it's for boat parking i'm not sure what Maybe. they would use this there, for there's a lot of parking spaces and they're really long spaces so probably for boats with trailers they are narrow so they give each person two spaces so you have room for your slides and your extra vehicles yeah, and, and there's lots of other different areas. Um, I believe they put us in what they call the overflow lot. Um, it's oversized. I think they have an overflow and an oversized. I'm not sure if they're different, but we're right off of what they're calling Windsor Lot 1. It's only set up during the festival. And there goes another shuttle bus. There goes another shuttle bus. And it's this year, it could change year to year. This year, for the week of the festival, it was $200 to be parked in this lot. There are no hookups at all. But there is a full shower house not far from our rig, so we were able to take showers there, do water. There is a dump station and a water fill up on site. It's kind of been a little bit cloudy of whether or not it's included if you're camping or not. Um, we did pay $15 to dump on our way in though. And there is also potable water stations. There's one right near the bathrooms too. So there's more water available besides just at the dump. So with the $200 entry or the fee for the camping, it does include two wristbands that are entry into the balloon festival itself. So that itself is worth $30. $30 per person. $15 a person to get into the festival. And they do have shuttle buses that pick you up right here and take you over to the festival. So that's kind of nice. We've had a great view of the lake because we're kind of up on a hill. Um, the biggest downfall to this spot would be the noise from the road. We're next to London Bridge Road and there's a lot of traffic on that. And we're also next to the entrance to the camp, to the parking lot itself. <laughs> um, so with that being said, it has been a great stay. We're glad we moved here from our boondocking spot out in the desert. It allowed us to go visit the Bloom Festival kind of whenever we wanted and we didn't have to worry about fight parking. We just had to wait in lines for the shuttle. We could see balloons launching all around us this morning and we could see them in the distance the last couple days. So it's been great. So we are going to go dump and we're going to head over to the Escapers Annual Bash. That's at the rodeo grounds here in Lake Havasu. We'll see you there. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.